As a platform for art, the river has huge potential. I proposed for this commission a water organ, something that would generate music from the power of the river. I started to build that with actually a only fairly vague idea of what kind of sound it was going to make. But as I got on with it, building the actual boat, the platform, uh, which is based on a catamaran, and then uh, making an organ, uh, that's basically church organ pipes from a church in Nottingham, but the rest of it, the bellows, the wind chest, and the, the mechanism to operate it, I've made all that. The question about how we're going to interpret or engage the river in uh, making sounds arose, and it seemed to me not enough just to be playing pre-programmed tunes. So I started to think about how sensors could be put on board and what they could read about the river. And the way that we did that was to take the physical profile of the riverbed, uh, which gave us the initial sequence of notes. And then on board there are sensors for temperature, turbidity, that's the transparency of the water really, the amount of matter suspended in the water, the speed of the um, of the water wheel and also the uh, electronic compass which registers the orientation of the boat in the river. And all, all those things are modulating that initial sequence. It means that the sounds that this is making now are responding to this particular place at this particular time. The compass thing is really interesting because you know, if you visualize a compass, there's a compass rose, what's called a compass rose, with all the directions on it. And in music as well, there is an image called the Wheel of Fifths, which, say, corresponding to north is C major, where there are no sharps or flats in the key of C major. And as you work around the, the circle, the Wheel of Fifths, going uh, in a clockwise direction, then it, you get the next key which has w one sharp in it, then two sharps, three sharps and so on, until you get to due south. And the same uh, going anti-clockwise, so one flat, two flats and so on, until you get to due south. So substitute the compass rows for the wheel of fifths. Uh, when the boat yours in the river changes direction slightly, if it passes through, um, I think it's 10 degrees, then the key, the whole key, that the music is playing in will change from whatever the orientation is now to a different key. That's quite nice when that happens. This is sort of an interesting thing that, um, you know, put, uh, building something like that is a serious issue and it's taken a long time and the fact that it's a commission means that there's an expectation and there's a kind of seriousness about it. And yet we put it in the water and out comes this really sort of light-hearted, jolly, almost sort of frivolous sound, which is really in contrast to what I'd been expecting and possibly in contrast to what I'd been feeling about making it. But that's what people are responding to. It's, it's really uh, quite a sort of joyful thing in a way.